Hi, and welcome to another edition of Aunt Allie's Storytime. Today, I am going to be bringing you a great story about a little bull named Ferdinand. Some of you may have already heard this story, and some of you, this may be the first time you're hearing it. Either way, I hope you enjoy the story of Ferdinand by Munro Leaf. Once upon a time in Spain, so Spain is a country over in Europe. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. So there's Ferdinand, there are all his friends. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head? She would say, but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Look at how big he got. That's our little Ferdinand the bull. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Madrid is in Spain. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, Five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, the fastest, the roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. So there are the five men. Who do you think they're going to pick? What do you think? All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, so he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. Do you have a favorite tree? Ferdinand has a favorite tree, a cork tree. I have a favorite tree too. I like pink dogwood trees. Those would be my favorite. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at his face. <gasps> Look at this face. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. They're all excited because they found their bull. What do we think about that? Good idea to pick Ferdinand or not a good idea to pick Ferdinand? Okay, well, let's see. 
So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bandoleros with sharp, long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. That's not very nice. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him even madder. <gasps> Ooh, that's not very nice. Those poor bulls, poor Ferdinand. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and he bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Who was it? Yeah, it was Ferdinand. You see him down there? He like doesn't want to come out. He's like, no way. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce and all the bandoleros were afraid of him and the picadores were afraid of him and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and they clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. What do you think Ferdinand does? What do you think he does? Hmm? Let's find out. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did, and he just sat and smelled. And the bandoleros were mad, and the picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. So look at him, he's just sitting there. And they're so mad. They take him home. And for all I know, he is still sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. And there he is, sitting in his under his cork tree, just smelling the flowers. So that was the story of Ferdinand by Munro Leaf. It's a great little story, isn't it? Everybody thought he should be this big, fierce bull just because he was a big bull, but he wasn't. He stayed true to who he was, didn't he? He stayed right true to being a gentle bull who liked to sit quietly and smell the flowers. He did not change just to put on a show for anyone else. And that's a good lesson for us too. We should never change who we are to fit in with anyone else or to make other people like us or to make other people happy. We should do what we like to do and, and stay true to who we are because people will like us just the way we are, just like we all like Ferdinand, just the way he was. So I hope that you enjoyed today's story. and. We will see you next time. Until then, sweet dreams, peaceful slumbers, and we'll see you next time.